Today we fixed the pull chain for the three-speed fan switch on an Emerson ceiling fan. The old chain broke, that's all that was left of it. And uh, we tore it apart to fix it, we'll get through all the instructions with you in a minute. We started off by finding the circuit breaker that powers the fan, turning off the power to the fan to make sure we're working in a safe way. Then we removed the globes from the lights and took out the light bulbs. That controls the fan for the three-speed switch pulled out of the fixture. So what I've done is I took out the two screws that held the light fixture on the bottom, took that, at, that down. There were also screws holding the wiring housing up onto the top and I removed those. And if you take off the little finger nut you can pull out the switch that's inside and the switch actually comes apart. It's got some little spring tabs that you can pull or pry out with a small screwdriver and pop the switch apart. So now I've loosened the little plastic tabs with a screwdriver. You can see there are three of them and I've started pulling the switch apart. And when you take it apart, you need to be careful. There's a spring and other pieces in there. You don't want to lose any of the pieces. When you get the switch apart, it looks like this. And you can take this plate off. And once you get that off, you can see the insides. Here's the mechanism with the chain. So we'll just replace the chain and there's a spring underneath. Okay, so here's the broken chain. And this is the little mechanism and it just snaps out of there. And this is actually from the piece of chain that broke off. And we're going to reconnect it by snapping it in like that. Before we put this back together, we need to understand exactly how it works so we can get it put together properly. On the bottom of the plastic wheel that holds the chain, there is a little slot right here. Kind of hard to see, but that's where the top of the spring engages. So when the wheel's installed, that side is flipped down, and of course I'll have to put the chain back on. But the top of the spring will engage in the bottom of that plastic wheel. The bottom of the spring sits in the housing and the bottom of the spring will ride against this pin and when the wheel is in place its range of motion is about a quarter of a turn. This tab will go back and forth between this stop and this stop. So it's going to be really difficult to to show the video of actually putting it back together but when it's back together that's the range of motion that's where um, the uh, clear disc needs to operate. So I'm going to reassemble it now and uh, show what it looks like whenever it's assembled. Okay, so I've got it almost together and you can see those little teeth are, are the gear mechanism that's going to drive the switch part and this is the range of motion when I pull the chain. I can't take my fingers off or the screwdriver off or the spring will push it all apart but I'm going to hold that together with a screwdriver and I'm going to put this cap back on and that'll hold the assembly together. I'm about to snap the, the pull chain mechanism back onto the switch. I just wanted to show what the inside of the switch looks like. Be careful not to let anything come apart when you take it out, but if you do, you can see what it looks like to put it back together. So after I assembled this, I put a spring clip on it to hold it together until I snap the whole thing back onto the uh, switch. So there it is, it's all snapped back together. Twice when I tried to put it together, one of the wires popped out. So I had to push the wire back in. So I would suggest that whatever type of switch you have, in case yours is a little different than mine, when you do take it apart, be very careful and maybe snap a picture so you can see how everything goes together. Everything's reassembled now. The switch works just like it's supposed to change of speed and uh, we're all done.